It's really all we can hope for in August to bring us any relief other than our daily rain chances. Still very quiet, uh, relatively speaking, in the Atlantic Basin. We still have Tropical Depression 11, but we still have a named storm, which has actually been weakening across the eastern Pacific. And then one, two, three areas that are all being given a high percent chance of developing. Right now, the phase four development is on the positive side in the tropics across the eastern North Atlantic, and it is more negative across the Atlantic. That pattern is going to shift. It's something that's called the Madden-Julian oscillation. It basically shows areas that are more favorable or less favorable for development in the tropics. And at times, that period is more favorable in one basin, less in the other. The Atlantic, though, is probably going to be getting more favorable as we get into the latter part of August and going into September. So though quiet at the moment, don't let that uh, lull you into a false sense of hope that the rest of the season is going to be quiet because again, we don't really see the activity peak until we get into late August and September 10th being the official peak of the season. Tropical Depression 11, not yet a tropical storm. If it does become a tropical storm, it would be Josephine. That is being forecasted by the Hurricane Center over the next couple of days. But the forecast really has not changed. It will be moving into a more hostile environment and weakening. And if it follows this path, it would stay away from land altogether. So even if this does become Josephine, it is not likely to impact land at all. And most of the computer models are in pretty good agreement, keeping them away from the islands. If you kind of take the consensus and then eventually over the eastern Atlantic or over the Atlantic east of the US, eventually just kind of dissipating and then no longer a threat at all. So not worrying about the tropics. That's always a good thing in August. 